Hey Kali crew, OMG. So today is for Vlogmas num day number four. I'm gonna be doing my first interview on my channel. OMG y'all, I'm so nervous and excited. Um, it's with the beautiful, beautiful dream. She went to Rena's uh, stripper camp. I'm not gonna call it stripper boot camp because that's not what it was. And Brie is the only official stripper boot camp. Just an FYI. Anyway, so I figured, <clears throat> excuse me i did not watch any of rena's st stripper camp because i am brie gang all the way don't get it twisted um but i however i did watch dreams videos all three parts and y'all she seemed so sweet genuine and i was just like i have to interview her i have to get her story out even though she did tell her story and what she went through i just had a few questions i wanted to ask it's literally like 10 or 10 or 12 questions i did put on my instagram and stuff for y'all to inbox me with some questions literally nobody asked me anything maybe one person did and i came up with the rest of these questions on my own so i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna be giving her a call on instagram in a couple minutes um just waiting for her to get camera ready and she waited for me to get camera ready so so the least I can do for her is wait for her to be camera ready. So we're both, you know, camera ready, looking cute for this interview. And yes, I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas Day 4 interview with Dream from Rena's stripper camp. Oh, good. Okay, so hey y'all. So I'm recording on my old phone and on my new phone. Beautiful Dream up there. She is sideways, but it's okay. It's all right. Um... So yeah, um, the first question was, did you watch or hear of Bree's stripper boot camp prior to the house? Yes, I did. Oh, wow. So, okay. As far as like you hearing about it, was it like in passing or on YouTube or at the club? Okay, do you, do you want to call me back so you can talk to her? Yeah, you want me to do that real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 All right, y'all, so she's calling me back. Oh. Okay. All right, we're back in motion. Yay. Okay. So I looked at what we recorded so far. It looks okay. A little bootleg, but whatever. It's all right. Um, let me see. All right, so you said you had uh, heard about it, her Bree stripper cam from YouTube? YouTube or Instagram, one of them, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, because she, her, she is good for advertising on Instagram and YouTube, so she is good for that. Okay, what was your initial thought before going into the house and when you got there? Like, were you excited? Were you just curious? Like... Oh, um, when you got there, like when you pulled up or arrived, did you have any initial like thoughts or anything? Or were you just like, oh, this is the house. Let's see what it's about. No, when I pulled up, that's what the girls were on the balcony. So I was like, oh, shit, what am I walking into? Because I already keep the vibe when I, as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I keep the vibe. Mm. So I'm like, oh, shit, what am I getting into? That was my initial response when I pulled up. Yeah, and I have to say in your your videos when you edit your editing is amazing by the way. Like if you do it or you have someone else do it whatever, like they did that. And when you did the scene where you were pulling up and they were looking down on you, I'm like, "Oh, she she's into the lion's den like, oh. I felt I felt a little anxiety for you at that point. I was like, "Ooh." Um, okay. When you when you had uh basically brought your stuff upstairs and everybody was just 
looking at you with your bags and like the one girl helped you. I'm like, okay, really? So no one's going to help her with her bag? Like, okay. Um, oh, okay. This one, I was like, how, okay. How did you keep your composure when the one girl, I don't know who it was, but when she was banging the pots and pans or banging the, the monkey bread pan, like, how did you keep your composure? Because even if you weren't involved in the situation, I would have been like, girl, like, really? Like, how old are we? That part. Like, how old are we? <laughs> no, how old is she? <laughs> I feel you. I'm, I'm the same way. I'd rather just sit back, be quiet, and observe, and just see what people are about before I insert myself in anything. I'm like, okay, let's see what's, what's happening first before I say something. Uh, okay, so... The fourth question, so they did break your phone and your picture, like you had a picture hanging up in the house or something? Yes, my picture, Rena, um, she has all the cast members. After me and Brad fought, she threw my picture on the ground in front of me. She was like, here, bitch. So that's how my picture, <laughs> yes. that's how my picture broke. Um, my phone, she threw my phone too. She threw my phone. She threw it on the floor and it, it shattered. Screen did not work anymore. Oh my God. My heart broke for you when I saw that. I was like... Yeah, I'm, I'm still mad about that. My phone still needs glitches to this day. I'm still mad about that. So. Oh, goodness. Okay. And then for the fifth question, why do you think it was only you from Atlanta and everybody else was from Ohio? <laughs> so, uh, I don't even know how the girls... Because how I found out about it was Atlanta girls put in the group that were in. I don't know how they found out about it. But that's how I found out about it. And they were supposed to be going to be two other Atlanta girls. Um, they bailed out last minute. One of the girls, Paradise, she basically got into Arena. She wanted to see how for the pictures, I mean, pictures of the house. And Arena didn't want to show it to her. So she got mad, sent her the money back. It was like, we doing too much. The other girl, KK, because she was in a hospital, so she can't come. So then there's me. I ended up being the only Atlanta girl and all the other girls from her hometown. So they all came together. So Paradise and Diamond dropped out. And it was just right so yeah. do you do you think rena knew the girls prior to camp or knew her from from ohio basically she knew some of them i, I don't think she knew brad though see that's she not fair them. that's not fair that mm -mm, that's that's not fair mm -mm. Right. that's not mm -mm. okay Six questions. Get these questions out. Okay, so in your opinion, do you think Rena went a bootleg Bad Girls Club slash Bree Stripper boot camp for views or, you know what I mean? Like, what 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 did you, how did you think she went about it and what, in, yeah, figuring out okay. her camp? A little bit of both. For one, I know for a fact she got me Bree. Even with us going to the post, we watch all three three parts i was like girl i'm like why like why would y'all not be nice i don't know exactly that's why i'm like okay rena has to know them before camp and that's not really fair because everybody's supposed to be you know new from everywhere it's not supposed to be just her friends and 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 one person from an, that's mm. <laughs> Wow. 
Okay, and then in your opinion, why did you get voted to leave when you were the one that got jumped? Like, I was just like, hold up. They're asking her to leave, yet she didn't even start the fight. Like, I kind of feel like maybe at that point it was maybe a little bit of a blessing for you since you already went through everything you went through. Like that was maybe God's way of saying, all right, girl, take your ass home. Time to go. <laughs> yes, because, you know, crazy. Well, I don't know if you've seen it, but I was like, um, I think I should go home, Serena. And she was like, no, you're going to look weak. And I was like, all right, you're right. I did say I was going to stay here. I'm going to stay. And then they told me I'm going home. But yeah, it probably was God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, okay. Um, I have like maybe three or four more questions. Okay, why did the Ohio girls come early, do you think? Or do you think it was just like, oh, we're just gonna go? Because didn't, didn't you... They came early because mm-hmm. it's 18 hours to, to get there from Cleveland to Houston. Mm-hmm. They came early because it was 18 hour drive. Even though they had multiple people to rotate drivers. And then, why did it seem like Rena had no control over anything? Like, not even the girls in the house. She was just there for commentary and to record. Or was that just me? Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you hit it right on the back. She did not have any control over the house. Um, she sit back and let stuff happen. She's like, she didn't do anything. She was like one of us. She acted like one of us. She didn't act like a host. She acted like one of the cast members. And, like, even, like, every time it was something, here she goes, like, oh, record, record. Like, she'll tell her girlfriend, record, record. Like, she wanted drama. She wanted drama. But, yeah, she didn't have no control. She didn't stop nothing. I feel like she was putting buzz in people's ears, trying to start stuff so she could have time to record, honestly. So, yeah. I see that. And pro- she probably was. Okay. Um, and then your opinion, it basically came down to the girls being mad because you didn't want to play taxi for everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Honey, this is the story. <laughs> Listen, what about that? What, what about that? Um, yeah, so it, that's what, that's what the, basically the whole drama came down to was you didn't want to play taxi. No. Nobody wanted to put gas in the car. Everybody was talking mad shit. Like... What did they honestly think was going to happen? Like, y'all can't, that, how, like, what? What would make them think you would be like, okay, let's, let's go, let's go to work, guys? Like, no. (laughs) No. I think it was, I think it was like 30 or some, or 40 or something for the Uber, I remember them saying in the, in the video. I was just trying to figure out why the rental she had or van or whatever it was went back after the third day or second day or whatever. Like, girl, did you not budget for this? Like, she said the rental cost too much. She said that. She said the rental cost too much. So why are you having a book and you can't get a rental? Like, you give me money hungry vibes at this point because why are you having a book and you don't have, you only have a two door Jeep? That's why I feel like she brought me out there to drop them. I feel like she tried to play me. I feel like that's really why she kept asking, like, are you driving? She was trying to play me. She was trying to have me as a group car. Because the rental went back on day two. And that was the date for it to go back. 
So yeah, she definitely tried to play me. I yeah, she she had a little a little side thing going on with herself at that point because yeah, I I totally get what you're saying. She yeah, she yeah. tried it. She thought. She thought. Yeah, they did. I was, I was so nice and sweet, but they thought they could just, oh yeah, we're gonna ride in her shit. No, ma'am. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. Oh, and then for this last few questions. Okay, on your video, the time step, it was like twenty one twenty nine part three. Rena said she didn't want you to go to jail, yet you were the one getting jumped, bullied, and your phone broken, and hours away from home, like. Like, I, I don't know. I was just asking, like, what? I don't know. I was I just so know. confused in that whole situation. I was like, what? Listen, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but the side note I had on that was, couldn't Rena possibly have, a, like, a possible lawsuit on her hands since she's technically the host? So she's responsible for everybody in the house, their well-being and everything, and she didn't keep no. She didn't make sure nobody was safe and sound like nothing. Right. Um. I mean, that's not in the works or nothing, but of course that's possible because y'all see what happened. That's very possible. So yeah, but that that's not in the works or nothing right now. But yeah, um, she definitely could because, and I, I said that to her actually. I'm like, could you? Can something happen to you for allowing all this? She's like, no, it's in the contract that anything that happens to y'all won't be my responsibility. And I was like, okay. And I asked her to send me the contract, and she never sent it. I'm still waiting on it. Actually, I might hit her up again and ask her to send it to me. She didn't give it to me. But y'all signed something. Yeah, we did. <laughs> With our name, address, everything. Oh, hell to the no. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Wow. Okay, so I know this is kind of reiterating from one of the other previous questions, but this question came in my DM, so just kind of have to ask this. Um, so in your opinion, you do think that Rena kind of took Bree's stripper boot camp idea or took inspiration from it? I don't want to word that the wrong way <laughs> so no one okay. comes for this vlog. All I'm going to say is she claims she had the idea first. And then I the same name exactly the next day after we We were trying to figure that out too. We're like, why couldn't you come up with another name? Like name, right? anything. Okay. Anything. Right. Okay. So. Last question. <clears throat> um, okay. For Rena's camp, as far as stripping goes or anything, did you learn anything new? Or just learn anything in general that you didn't already know? I only learned how to climb a pole. We didn't, we didn't, on the itinerary, it was like club etiquette, um, twerk thing, lap dance. We didn't learn none of that. We didn't do any of that. We just climbed a pole. But I only learned how to climb a pole. So, so you literally <laughs> learned nothing, number one. Got jump number two, your phone broke at number three, and then they tried to play you to get you to play taxi for everybody. Oh my lord. Been through, been through mustard on my car, girl. You didn't know that? No! Yeah, Wait, was it, that was in the end of one of the videos, wasn't it? I think. It's not out yet. It's not, yeah, it's in my video. I'll put a picture of it. But oh my doing it. god. Girl, you better than me, cause uh, you break my phone. I'm finna break your face, like, and I'm I'm hours away from home. Like, no, uh, uh, no. Mm. -mm. Oh my gosh, I have to say, I'm happy you made it out safe and good. And the only thing that went wrong was a little. Hopefully, the mustard didn't damage your car too bad. Thank God, I would have been so. Oh, right? Because that's, mm-mm. 
stuff like that and eggs and mayonnaise, that's not good on your car. Like, that's not, mm -mm. I know. So she basically had you guys, I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Oh, so she basically had you guys sign private contractor contracts so she wouldn't be liable for anything basically that happened to you guys in the house. It was just, okay, well, you guys signed the paper saying you want to be here. Okay, like, no, that's not how it works. Yeah. Wait, so, okay, we, we gonna talk about that after we get off But, yeah. Man, that is crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for answering the questions and being my first official interview for my YouTube channel, Vlogmas Day 4. OMG. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem. You're so sweet and so thank nice, you. and you're so adorable. You. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And your smile is so pretty. I can't wait to see, like, your smile after your braces are off. It's going to look braces, so right? good. Oh, awesome. Good. For New Year's and Valentine's Day, that's what's up. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, signing off now, Cali Crew. Please hit up Dreams, the social medias and stuff. I'll link them all below. And thank you for the interview. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got done with my interview with Dream, and she's so sweet and funny and nice, and we had a, a good few laughs, but she's getting ready to go out and chill. I just wanted to end this video on a positive note and just let her know that I'm so grateful and thankful for her interview. This was my first interview on my channel. It definitely won't be the last. Um, I'm sorry for the video quality and everything, but I was having some issues recording on my phone, so I had to use my old phone. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Please stay safe and blessed, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you are notified. Because as you can see, your girl is sporadic as hell, but I am doing vlogmas. Um, so yeah, see ya.